Oh, we're just gonna talk over the, we're like yelling in San Diego. See, it just gets louder. So talk about technical difficulties. Friends, welcome to San Diego, California. I am at the Entrepreneur's Experience with Amy Porterfield. She's a kind, sweet, brilliant friend, and she is hosting an event for hundreds of hustling entrepreneurs. And she invited myself and Marie Forleo to come be her guest speakers, which has been amazing so far. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about building a brand and using social media to push that messaging forward. I will also be talking about my love child, Instagram, as well as taking live Q&A. Live Q&A always makes me a little bit nervous, but I feel like I kind of like live off the nerves. Speaking of nerves, I should probably back up and let you know how I'm feeling in this moment because I'm all about documenting, right? Okay, so people often see um, maybe me talking on stage. And when I talk on stage, I get very focused and people have a hard time relating to, well, that must come really natural for her. I'm walking up the white stairs and all I could think is like, oh, oh hold on, it, it's coming. I was so nervous, but in the process of being nervous, I know that I'm here to speak my truth. I know that I'm here to empower other entrepreneurs, and I know that I am here to remind first myself and then everybody else that in this time and in this moment, I am enough and they are enough and you are enough. And I hope that that's the thing beyond messaging, beyond marketing, and beyond Instagram, that's the thing I hope people walk away with the most. So join us for Behind the Scenes. We'll take you on the journey. Thank you guys for being here. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. Are you all my personal photographer and started it against the odds when people tell me you see I have this wild and crazy dream I'm not sure if it's going to work I will look across from you and I will say it's going to work I will be the one person in your corner who says you are enough if you want it bad enough you will show up if you want it bad enough you will take every gig if you want it bad enough you will say every morning today is gonna be a good day why because I'm one step closer to the thing that I want to do so what do I understand about Instagram I understand that captions matter. I understand that photos matter, but I also understand that engagement matters most. All of this is engagement. But we all know that this isn't about us, right? Because Instagram, at least we're trying to, use it for business. If you're trying to use Instagram for business, then this is all about your followers, period. The question that I have for you, are your followers commenting? Are they sharing your post? Are they responding to DMs? Are they tagging your account? If the answer is no, they are not engaging, we must change that fast. I'm gonna ask you in response, are you using Instagram or are you just on Instagram? Because the way that you answer that question will have a profound effect on the efficacy of your efforts. So here's a quick 20 second quiz to know if you are just on Instagram. You are just on Instagram. If you post only when you remember, when you use it for promotional post only, it's like silent. All of a sudden you're in a launch and you're in it like three times a day. It appears randomly. All of a sudden you have your one annual Disney family cruise and it's like, Photo after photo after photo after photo. Because I'm doing something interesting. I'm not in Ohio anymore. No, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> We're not all of a sudden gonna be interested in the magical kingdom. You know what I'm saying? It's used without a strategy. Do you know who you're speaking to? Do you know what they wanna hear? And do you know how you're empowering them? You are using Instagram for your business if you post consistently. If you know and understand the power of a one-to-one -one connection, you respond to every comment, you respond to every DM, you go to hashtags and spend five to 10 minutes every single day leaving thoughtful comments on other people's posts that are more than four words. And when you comment more than four words, you're essentially teaching people how to engage in your, with your account, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Girl, is that a rhetorical question? There's one thing with being lost, desperate, and hopeless and tired and hungry and hopeful and willing and tired.